standard procedure. She bad with the features. She bad, that's a misdemeanor. Sick with it, I might catch a fever. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right now. Well, life in we are live in uh, Arabia, Saudita, Saudi Arabia. Uh, be on the Bivol, uh better BF card. Ben Withico, Ben Withico, the future. I would say, even though some might say he's not that good, um, he's a silver medalist. And of course, he has this showmanship type of aura, you know, um, thing he does. Well, something just happened right now. Very bizarre. I mean, I've never seen this happen before in, in the sport of boxing. So, uh, there was a bizarre ending to Ben Whitaker versus Liam Cameron fight. Uh, of course, as the pair fall out, fell out of the ring together at the end of round five, Whitaker uh, was still down. I think he injured his, 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 um, his uh, knee or something. Is it knee or foot? I don't know. But something is not right right here. And um, the fight has been... Has been uh, um, I've been the decision made right now. I think the fight has been scored a split draw. Well, Whitaker suffered an injury to his foot, and um, what do you make of this right here? Adiwali Ben Whitaker Liam Cameron fight. I know you have a lot to say about Whitaker, but no doubt, yeah, is a star. Let's keep it right here, bro. bro. Whitaker lost that fight, in my opinion, bro. He lost that fight. And well, hi, that's... he lost that fight. The fight was in hand. It was 10 round fight. So what do you mean by that, bro? Yeah, man. I mean, Cameron... Okay, yes. Cameron was at fault for pushing him off the ring. But that yeah, was also because as Cameron result pushed him off the, the ring. Let's keep it... was fighting. Cameron pushed him off the ring. So I don't know why you guys are like basically faulting the guy like who was pushed off the ring. So I don't get it, bro. Yeah, but he was losing the fight still. I mean, for you to defeat Ben Whitaker with his showmanship, I don't get it wrong. I like Whitaker. I'm a fan of Whitaker. But the way he fights, he pushes, he almost forces his opponents to implement some dirty tactics. And that's what Cameron did. It's a fight after all. This is a fight. It's I mean, <laughs> these guys are fighting. They're there to punch each other out. Yeah, but so bo bo because boxing is a, a heat that don't get hit, right? I mean, yeah, it is. But sometimes you might have to go into a brawl. You might have to get into a war to win a fight. It happens in boxing all the time, bro. And that's what Cameron was trying to do. Because to defeat Ben Whitaker, sometimes you have to get on the inside and find a way to rough, rough him up. That's how you beat Ben Whitaker. So I respect Cameron for what he did. But at the same time, I have a little criticism for Ben Whitaker. In all fairness, he's the reason why I watch this fight because we all, a lot of us are fans of Ben Whitaker. I like his showmanship. I like his style. I like the fact that the guy is entertaining. He has the ability to become a proper entertainer in the boxing ring. However, in this fight, my criticism is that Whitaker fought more like an Olympian as opposed to a professional fighter because he was moving too much and he wasn't even successful. Cameron was doing a better work. He was landing the better punches. He was hurting Whitaker in the fight. And eventually when Whitaker rolled over the ring, when Cameron pushed him and he fell outside the ring, why were they taking off his shoes? I don't, I mean, I watched the replay multiple times. It doesn't look like he hit his feet on the canvas or on the floor. shoes. It didn't look like he had an injury to his legs. If anything, maybe, I don't know, man, that, that did not look like he had an injury to his legs. And what that tells me is that he chose to quit that fight. He chose to stop fighting because it would have gone to the scorecards. That's what Ben bro, Whitaker did. That's I, what I, I saw, I, I bro. I don't understand what you're saying, bro. Whitaker won the first two rounds. I mean, I think this is we are watching the first, the same fight, right? Whitaker won the first two rounds, lost the the the, the uh, two round, lost two rounds in a row. The fifth round, yeah, that had, what happened happened. But I know that Leon Cameron was making it very dirty for Ben Whitaker, and that's not what Whitaker likes because he's a clean fighter. 
But I don't know what, what, how you say, yeah, this guy maybe quit in a way because... No, no, no. I don't see that because bro, there, was quit, still like, there was still like five rounds remaining, bro. He could have easily won the five rounds. Like won maybe bro, three, what, four what rounds saying, in a row. Bro, why, why I, I'm, I'm saying that Whitaker quits, in my opinion, is that... There was no reason why he was taking off the shoe. They were taking off his shoes. Yes, I wasn't in the ring and I wasn't close to the ring to see what actually happened. But we saw the replay on large screens, multiple replays. That man did not bang his leg on the floor. So why is he taking off his shoes? That tells me that he was looking for an excuse to get out of that fight. That's all I'm saying, bro. I might be wrong, but that's what I saw. And it's a, it's a learning opportunity for Whitaker. He has to go back to the gym and maybe improve on his maybe his defense you know maybe he needs to clean up some things in his in his game and come back and rematch cameron and try to get that victory that's what that's all i can say man i thought cameron won that fight i'll be honest bro that that was what i saw yeah although ben whitaker i would say that i don't think he beats before or better be if is i think he <laughs> I no, think no. I, I think uh, he's a guy that is gonna sell because the guy really does you know the guy let's keep it right here man he he, he looks the path you know in terms of his looks the way he fights it's very entertaining right but mm. I what one thing I'm noticing about Whitaker is that I don't think the punchy power is there yet I don't mm. see it. because because if you couldn't hurt hurt uh Liam Cameron to the body that are you gonna beat uh better be here for before like, you know nah. what I mean? like you know, bro, yeah. <laughs> my brother I, I don't even want to get ahead of myself in for for Whitaker's sake let's not even talk about better be ever before those guys will kill him those guys are on a, they are in another planet entirely uh, but the, how but about, the how about we start with British level let's start with British level if you can defeat guys like this guy that, that lost to um um Williamson is it um, um Hutchinson sorry how about you go fight Hutchinson I don't even think he beats Hutchinson to be honest you know Fight mm, guys like Willie, that, Willie, man, Willie before Hutchinson. we talk about world level. Willie Hutchinson. Yeah. I, I don't think he fight Willie Hutchinson now because it's the uh, the reason being, um, the reason being because Hutchinson is at the moment has fought better opposition. And I think Hutchinson, 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 not Hutchinson, Hutchinson. I think Hutchinson would, would beat Liam uh, Liam Cameron and of course Ben Whitaker now. But uh, Whitaker yeah. is the one for the future, I say. I just yeah, yeah. my only hope is that they don't match him up with too much bumps, you know, because uh, the guy the guy needs to learn, uh and the only way you can learn is from being in tough fights. You know what I mean? So, Yo, bro, this this Liam Cameron already presents the perfect opponent for Ben Whitaker, if you ask me, because this is a perfect rematch that they need to go into next. Set it up in the next couple of months, six months max. They have to get that rematch on. And Whitaker needs to work on a lot of things. And I have to respect Cameron as well. Salutes to Cameron for his performance. Yes, he was fighting dirty, but it's boxing. It's a fight, man. It's a fight. Fans need to chill out. It's a fight. People get killed in the boxing ring. These guys are sacrificing a lot to uh, to entertain us. So I respect Cameron as well. They both need to go back in the gym. In the rematch, bro, I don't know what's going going to happen, man. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen, man. Yeah, man, I but can't wait. Man. Anyways, let's keep watching the fight. I would I'll ring you up soon. Um, there is we have the next fight uh coming up. I mean, the female one is, uh, is next. Um. No disrespect with them, but um, I'm I'm busy right now, so I'm gonna pass on that. So wait for the other one, um, <laughs> you know, to see. I mean, no disrespect, bro, because right now I'm yeah. busy, but uh, I I have to watch boxing because for me, boxing is life, bro. It's life. Yeah. Stay tuned, bro. Um, guys, yes, you heard it from about Adewale. Stay tuned for my super ride. We'll be right back and keep watch, bro. I'll, I'll call. I'll ring you up soon. Yes, sir. The rest, bro. Cheers. <laughs> 